Working principle of a ventilator involves the controlled delivery of air or a mixture of gases into the lungs and the removal of carbon dioxide, facilitating the process of breathing. Here is a breakdown of the basic components and functions that constitute the working principle of a ventilator. The patient is connected to the ventilator through an endotracheal tube, ETT, or a tracheostomy tube. The tube is inserted into the airway to facilitate the passage of air between the ventilator and the lungs. The ventilator is equipped with a system for delivering a carefully controlled mixture of air and oxygen to the patient. This system includes valves, sensors and regulators to ensure the precise composition and volume of the delivered gas. Tidal volume refers to the volume of air delivered in each breath and the respiratory rate is the number of breaths per minute. Ventilators allow healthcare professionals to set and adjust these parameters based on the patient's needs. This ensures proper oxygenation and ventilation. During the inspiratory phase, the ventilator delivers the predetermined tidal volume of air and oxygen to the patient's lungs. The duration and pressure of this phase are controlled to optimize oxygen exchange. PEEP is a positive pressure applied at the end of the expiratory phase. It helps keep the airways open and increases the amount of oxygen that remains in the lungs after each breath. PEEP is essential in preventing alveolar collapse and improving oxygenation. In the expiratory phase, the ventilator allows the passive release of air and carbon dioxide from the patient's lungs. The rate and pressure during this phase are carefully regulated to prevent lung damage and facilitate effective gas exchange. Modern ventilators are equipped with sensors and monitors to continuously assess the patient's respiratory parameters, including oxygen saturation, carbon dioxide levels, and airway pressure. This feedback allows the ventilator to make real-time adjustments to maintain optimal ventilation. Ventilators offer various modes of ventilation, such as pressure control, volume control, or a combination of both. These modes provide flexibility in adapting to different patient conditions and respiratory needs. Ventilators are equipped with alarm systems that alert healthcare providers to any deviations from the preset parameters. Alarms may indicate issues such as low oxygen saturation, high airway pressure, or disconnection. In summary, the working principle of a ventilator involves the controlled delivery of air and oxygen to the patient's lungs, the removal of carbon dioxide, and the maintenance of optimal respiratory parameters. This precise control is essential for supporting patients with respiratory distress or failure.